still one of my favorite moments, let's be honest. That was a badass moment. Going on all my YouTubers, reviewers, Chucky fans all alike, even though Chucky Season 1 has officially wrapped up, we still gonna talk about some Chucky, cause that's my man and that's our boy! But season 1 has officially wrapped up last week, last Tuesday actually, and it's kinda bittersweet cause now it's like, mm, we got no more Chucky till next October or so. I ain't gonna stop us from talking about some Chucky and shit because Season 2 is officially still coming, so yeah, let's, let's talk about that cause that's the title of the video, right? Wish list for Season 2, what do we wanna see in Chucky Season 2? Well, okay, here are my thoughts on it. Again, I want to know your thoughts. Type below. Let me know what you think or what you want to see in season two of Chucky. Let's talk about it because like I said, it's still Tuesday and we're still talking about the Chuckster. So let's do it. And the first thing I want to talk about, the first thing I would like to see in season two of Chucky is actually this. First and foremost, can we finally address what happened to Andy and the other 72 good guy dolls of Tiffany? I feel like that is where episode one should kind of kick off with in season two of Chucky. Because like, that was kind of like a cliffhanger ending. Kind of like, oh, they're going to the airport. Cause I'll be honest, I thought that Andy was just gonna take the van and just drive it off a cliff and blow it up and shit with C4. But no, Tiffany was in there. She was just like, you keep driving, Andy. You know what's good for you. I was like, oh, sh shit. Oh, okay. Okay. So I'd definitely like to see where Andy and Tiffany are gonna go in season two and shit. And you know what would be crazy? Like, what if those two, like, kind of work together? They work as a type of deal and shit. I feel like Tiffany's, a part of Tiffany's soul is in the, the uh, the, no, a part of Jennifer Tilly's soul no, Tara Tiffany's soul is in the Tiffany doll body. Ain't this shit confusing? What are the two that work together to conspiracize and be like, yeah, let's just destroy those other good guy dolls and then we can just fuck Chucky up. Let's let's do that because he has fucked me over. That would that would be something. So I would like to see that addressed. It's season two. Second thing I'd like to talk about real quick that we definitely want to know what's in the forefront is season two. We want to know, or we want to see Glenn and Glenda at some point in season two of Chucky. And that will be interesting because they were name dropped specifically in my phone keeps going on. They were named dropped specifically in the season finale of Chucky because Tiffany was like, oh, I got this bomb and shit from my darling Glenda. They they have great taste. The fact that she was like, they have great taste is like, do they have the same body? Are they split because see the Chucky, even though it's the worst one, is still canon? So that would be interesting to know. Like, I want to know, like, even though see the Chucky is, is shit. It's the worst one. But since it is canon, I'm like, I still like to see Glenn and Glenda, like, you know, they get into the, they, they are in separate bodies and everything like that. So it would be interesting to see, like, are they going to make an appearance? Are they adults? Are they kids or not? Or, of course, they're adults. But the, what kind of adults? Which goes to my third wish list. Is the teacher actually Glenn slash Glinda and Human 4 grown up? This thing was addressed midway through season one. And then it was kind of just like kind of forgotten about it was mentioned when Devin's mom had uh Miss Miss Frizzle and shit uh, like I'm shit with names but I'm calling her Miss Frizzle she had her in the containment cell and shit she was just like oh yeah you know you got a trouble patch and shit it would be a chain of the principal knew about you know your delinquent past and shit maybe be like delinquent past but, hmm well Glenda did have a delinquent past if so, hmm, it may, maybe I don't know oh, so is she Glenda because we learned at the season finale it's kind of like implied that she's taking care of uh, Jake and Devin since the, you know they're orphans now and shit that would be an interesting dynamic it is kind of like oh yeah this is all still part of Chucky's plan and shit so so we'll see. Next thing on the wish list, which is kind of like not really a wish list, but it's kind of like it's confirmed but not confirmed. But let's here I'm gonna ask it. Put it out there in the universe. Let's find out is Kyle actually alive in season two? Because Andy, Kyle, and De Devin they assumed they all blew up in that explosion at Charlie's Ray House in season finale. But apparently Andy got out. Maybe he came out the same way he got in with Devin, but Kyle, I like to think in my mind's eye that instead of her like blowing up, she didn't like quite walk in, she just opened the door. So it could be one of those situations where it's just like, oh, it just blew her back and shit. Mission Impossible style. So that's what I'm thinking, Sabic. And we do see a glove at the end of the season finale. So it's like, oh, is it Kyle? Is it not Kyle? I don't know. Oh, I think it is Kyle. It ain't Andy because he's fuck off in that, you know, with Tiffany and shit. So I think it is Andy's. I mean, Kyle. It's got one more thing because I don't want to make this video too long. So one more thing I'd like to ask for the wish list. Do we want to see more legacy characters in season two? And I also thought to myself, I asked my brother when we watched the season finale together. He was like, okay, for season two, they should bring in De Silva from Child's Play 3. That would be dope because the actress, she still acts and shit. So that would be cool. A little bit dynamic. But me personally, I like to see Ronald Tyler. I like to see my man Tyler from Child's Play 3. 
bring him back. Yeah, bring back the legacy characters and everything like that because we still don't quite know where Chucky's plan can go. You know, if Andy stops it, if he doesn't stop it, or we'll just have a new plan altogether. Who, who the fuck knows? I don't know. But I guess I will end with one last thing. One last thing, real quick. Here it is. Where could we see Lexi, Jake, and Devin go story wise in season two? I feel like their story is wrapped up because of them. All the Chucky dolls are they're fucking dead. They're gone. They're, they fucked off. They can have a normal life. Well, Andy kind of. They go the child's play two route. It's like okay, yeah, they have a normal ish life. Maybe they're still haunted by like, oh yeah, what Chucky did to us those years ago. That was that 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 fucked us up. So. I, I don't I don't know where they could take Jake, Lexi, and Devin in another season because I feel like their season wrapped up, their story arcs wrapped up. I mean, Junior died, and it's kind of like yeah, that we move on from that R.I.P. But it's just like I don't know where they could go with that. So that's why I'm kind of like my, my man Chris from Three C Film said, or somebody no, somebody else. Well, anyway, it was like maybe the next season should be like I don't know, maybe it could actually be a movie to just pick up like yeah, where you know Andy and Tiffany drive off with the dolls and shit because I'm really like i don't know where the fuck they could go with these characters in another season i guess we'll find out because don man city he's the man and he's got a plan chucky season two is officially comes out next year sometime i'm gonna assume it's in october what's your wish list what do you want to see in season two of chucky type below let me know let's talk about it and yeah see you guys in the next video and as always guys subscribe until next time